Hey, how's it going? Diamond here. And recently I really got into GUI creation. It honestly really can make your service stand out because not only can you create it, you can even pay someone if you really want to, but I really recommend you guys give it a shot in creating it. This won't be a video on how to create one, but I will leave a free example in the description below. So if you want to know how to get it, just wait till the end of the video. Let me explain everything for out first and then try it out for yourself because it can be a ton of fun. If you do it properly. So to begin with, what is a custom GUI? Of course, pe plenty of people have seen custom GUI such as from Hypixel, Mindplex, many other servers, and it's relatively that simple. Creating them isn't difficult, but creating true custom GUIs that no other server has but yours, that can get a little tricky. And honestly, it can be a lot of fun as well if you can actually set it up properly. So if I run a command right now, so if I do warp, I have my own custom GUI right now. I'll even make it bigger by just changing the GUI upscale to three. And if I run it again, here you go. Now you might be thinking that's not vanilla Minecraft. That's what, that's probably modded. So it's not going to work out on my, on my spigot server. The funny thing is it will, because this is pure vanilla. All it is just a resource pack. So if your server already has resource packs for custom models, such as model engine or for item matter or Oryx or anything in between, this is super easy to do. And it's quite frankly, quite frankly, it's one of the few things your players are gonna be seeing at the beginning of any type of server. If it's to warp, if it's to go home, if it's a shop. And as much as it's cool, it's also functional. However, I didn't add any commands to mine because I'm in a tutorial world and there's nothing around here. So. I already am in the overworld, I don't want to go to nether end, but you can actually click them. However, I did not set up a command to them, so just a friendly reminder, if you want to set it up, you can. You can go to spawn, you can click the nether warp, you can click the end warp, and this up here is just purely cosmetic. Because this is all it is, it's a cosmetic thing that you can add to your server and be 100% unique. Now, if this video does get about 350 likes, I probably will do a video on how to actually create one step by step, but for now, I'm probably going to show you the, how it functions and how it works through the resource pack and the plugin itself, just so you guys have a rough understanding and if you want to do it, because it's not difficult as long as you have the proper tools for it. And I'm providing that for you guys for free. So why not, right? The plugin we're going to be using is also free. It's called Deluxe Hub. And as much as I like talking with you guys, let's just get to this and show you exactly how everything works. So first things first is we will get started off with the actual resource pack. Anything from here on is quite average for a resource pack. But if we go into the assets, we're going Minecraft, this is what makes it unique. So if I click edit here and I'm gonna open it up with Notepad++, you can see that all it is is a custom font, which is this one, with a custom image. It could be anything. It doesn't even have to fit the GUI scale. You will see there's this funny, funny one up here, which is just called Pixel. We primarily use this for interaction. So if I go back into the game and I run the command, you can see we are interacting, but with something that's invisible. Because if there were an item here, it would go on top of the tab, not making it as cool. So all we did was make a normal Minecraft map have a data value of 10,010 and making it invisible. So you can actually be able to click it without an issue. And again, we did add a custom font for it as well, because we're adding negative spaces so that we can perfectly fit the custom image into the GUI. So that is all for really for the font. And then we have the model. So here you're just primarily gonna see the invisible item, which is that pixel item I just explained, which is the map. And then we have the textures, which is just the invisible pixel and then the GUI itself, which it's all it is, is just an image. There's nothing fancy here. Of course, I really wanna thank Larky for this cause he helped me out a ton with it mainly teaching me the ropes and how everything works. But that's it, it's three simple folders you can get set up within minutes. And again, there's a free asset for you guys, perfectly. So the main question stands, if you wanna make your server custom and unique, you have the opportunity to do so without paying a single penny. I might even want to start doing a contest to see who can create some cool GUIs or anything between, but we'll see how that goes. However, let me teach you guys how to download the file real quick. So if you head over to revivenode.com and just scroll all the way to the bottom, you may think, wait, isn't this from the last video where you can just download the rock pack? Did you remove that? I actually didn't and I updated it for you guys. So now you can just download both of them whenever you want to. You can get this current pack, which is the signed GUI or just the trash pack from the last video if you haven't watched that one yet. So just click download and that's all you really need to be done. And of course, while you're here, why don't you take the opportunity to get a server with revivenode? Using my promo code DIAMOND in all caps, you can get up to 15% off your very first purchase. You have every reason to start your server right now. So again, I hope this was informative for you to fully start your own. And 
Again, if it reaches 350 likes, I probably will do a full tutorial step-by-step -step on how to do it. So just make sure to share the video, like it, help out the channel. But overall, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll be seeing you next time. Cheers.